Hello guys, welcome to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I'll demonstrate you the working of the Raspberry Pi based ball tracking rope. So as you can see, the robot is over here. And to just demonstrate you how the program actually works, I have connected it to the monitor over here through a HDMI cable and a keyboard and mouse is also connected. So this robot is programmed using the processing environment. Usually people use Python and OpenCV together to do this image processing and stuff. But I'm a big fan of processing so I tried it out with processing. So the complete code of processing can be found here which you can find in the link given in the description of this video. So now let me go ahead and run this robot and show you how it tracks the ball and once everything is demonstrated I will finally power it with this power bank and I will show it in action. So let me run the program and once you run it you should get a pop-up window which will show you the camera okay here I'm just sitting right in front of the camera so you're seeing me let me move ahead and as you can see you have the camera's image over here so I have three balls with me which we can track using Raspberry Pi these three balls so what actually happens is the program is not made to actually track the ball it will just be tracking the color and based on the color it will move the robot accordingly so that it appears as if the robot is tracking the ball so let me show you how the color tracking works let's start with any ball let's start with this green ball for example so all you have to do is place this green ball inside the camera's view so you can see the green ball over here and just click on it click on the green color and you should see that your program starts tracking this green color and over here in the robot as you move the ball the wheels will rotate accordingly as you can see when I come to the left side the left motor rotates faster and when I move to the right side the right motor rotates faster and as I go close and as I come far both the motor rotates so based on the position of the ball your motors are programmed to rotate and it will appear as if it's tracking the ball and coming to a position so you can actually track any color or any object with this you can even track my pen drive for example you just keep the pen drive in the in the screen's location click on the pen drive and you'll be able to track the pen drive again so let us try with another color, color for example so let us try with this red color ball click on the red color board and your robot will start tracking for this red color so it doesn't matter whether the red color is the ball or whatever it might be for example once it starts tracking red it will also track any red color inside the environment for example it even tracks a small ball okay now let me disconnect it from the monitor and take the board to the ground and uh, it is already powered by the power bank so let us leave it on the ground and check how well it is able to track for this board let me pass the video for a second okay now we have the robot placed over there let me go ahead and place the red ball over here and see if our robot is able to track it so as you can see it has already started to move towards the board and it comes closer to the board And once it comes close, it stops. So now let's go ahead and check. Let me move it to somewhere else. So wherever this red color moves, the board will move towards it. And when it comes in a particular distance, it will stop. So. So this is how the product works guys so let me try moving it somewhere else and as I move the ball the robot will also follow the ball so it's keeping on checking every frame of the video to detect where it can find the red color and it adjusts the wheel in such a sense that the red color comes to the center of the frame for example I'm moving it to the left frame so the left wheel rotates and it aligns itself so that the ball comes to the center again
so that's it guys thanks for watching